everyone we're back in the craft room and I'm working on some poster crafts and this one I'm going to use fashionable horses had asked me if I could do a coaster with a picture on it and I was actually planning on doing that and I actually have two ways of doing it but this one is going to be with a picture on paper and I have already this is spooky the cat and I've already printed that out and it's just on regular paper and I just sized it so that it would fit in here perfectly but we're not going to use that quite yet first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of resin in and I want a dark background for this so I'm going to use black glitter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a layer of resin in and then we're going to take the glitter and we're going to sprinkle it into the mold and hopefully this will sink to the bottom and if it doesn't that's okay we can we'll just add a step to it an extra thin pour to it but hopefully this will sink and leave a nice smooth surface behind but it's possible that it won't so and if you put too much in there it won't but don't don't sweat it throw it in there and this is a very thin layer of resin that I have in there at the moment so so if it doesn't sink I will just pour another skim coat over it but I want the, the glitter to be pretty vibrant and if I go too thin with the glitter I'm afraid that it won't be so I think that's enough glitter and we'll leave this sit and if I need to do another coat then I'll do another coat and I'll keep you posted I'm back with the next step of the photo coaster and this is the one I'm doing Spooky the Cat and what we're going to do is we're going to decoupage her picture onto the, the black glitter coaster. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip her picture in water. And the reason I do that is because that helps get, keep the wrinkles out when I'm decoupaging it onto, onto the coaster. Now if you're using an ink, inkjet printer, I'm going to link an article that I found that a lady wrote about different ways that you can use Mod Podge on inkjet, print, on inkjet prints because they don't always work that well. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the Mod Podge onto the resin. Then I'm going to put Spooky's photo on. And because it's damp, it is fragile, but it it's already stretched so that means it'll be really easy to get the wrinkles out Cause sometimes when you put Mod Podge and stuff on there the paper will continue to stretch and that's where you get like wrinkles and, and bubbles and stuff stuck underneath it so all I'm going to do is take my finger and rub out any wrinkles that might be there and I want to make sure that the picture is fully covered because otherwise we'll get some dark spots on the photo with the next resin pour and I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to put one or two more coats on there until I feel really comfortable that I have have everything covered really well and then we'll come back and we'll do the next pour of resin and don't really worry too much about brush strokes as long as it dries 100% clear the next resin pour you won't see any of the brush strokes so we'll come back when I'm ready to do that we're back to unmold the photo the photo coaster with spooky in there and here it is and I'm going to give it a little trim and I hope you like it hope you give it a try remember to rate comment and subscribe and also remember I'm going to link that article that I found on how to decoupage or mod podge with inkjet prints thank you for watching we'll see you next time happy crafting and remember to stop by www.craftclutch.com for information on this and many other crafts See you next time.